Hello guys, I am Abhishek Jain. Today we're gonna discuss about drag polar. What is drag polar and everything about drag, total drag for the aircraft, for the airfoil in this tutorial. So let's get started. Let's do XFLR5 analysis or let's say symmetric and cambered airfoil. Let's start with direct foil design. I okay now go to foil naka foils mm, let's give 2412 as foil naka 2412 let's change color okay give somewhere yes so yeah let's by pressing control 5 we come to analysis part Define an analysis for the name of the analysis is by default. Reynolds number 0.1 indicates 1 lakh. Mark number 00, zero, zero out here and critical value n. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's analyze between minus 5 to 15 degrees with an increment of 0.1 degrees okay by taking viscous initial boundary including that now analyze yeah so this is drag polar curve which is out here cl versus cd and in this tutorial we are discussing about this only okay uh, let me add one more foil which may be symmetric one okay Mm, yeah, Naka foils. Let me go with zero mm, two four maybe oh, one two maybe one two seems good. Two hundred panels override in its color to some white maybe. Yes, giving some red yes this uh, now go to x foil direct analysis okay now yeah the air foil you can choose like now it is for zero zero one two yeah mm, yeah analysis define analysis uh for the same like reynolds number one lakh uh, everything same yes with uh yeah from minus 5 to 15 degrees everything take yeah alpha then analyze and yeah we're gonna concentrate on cl versus c equal Yeah, the white color is Naka 0012 and the sky blue color is 2412. Yeah. So these are CL versus CD like track polar. Now let's get started. What is track polar is all about? And yeah, so what is drag polar? First of all, we need to know what is drag so drag is the aerodynamic force that opposes an aircraft's motion through the air is drag okay so basically there are two types of drag which are pressure drag and friction drag. pressure drag is about like the net imbalance of surface drag acting in the direction of drag that is very important and what is friction drag it is due to the net effect of shear stress acting in the direction of drag or in the drag direction yes those are like very important now let's go see categories of drags so first one is screen skin friction drag mm, it is like the frictional shear stress integrated over the surface you can say next one will be form drag which is due to flow suppression 
and profile drag profile drag would be like for the air foil itself like particularly it is the addition of skin friction drag and foam drag uh, the very same term for the complete air trap would be parasite drag which is skin friction drag plus foam drag for the aircraft configuration and interference drag so this is a bit tricky uh, like if you were to design the wing separately tail separately and uh, measure the drag for each one then you finally integrate to become an aircraft then you measure the drag the drag won't be the same like total drag minus drag due to the individual component there will be some difference and that difference is what interference drag is so coming to okay induced drag induced drag is due to like the pressure difference at the tip of the wings the flow come upward and form vortices it goes by the definition like a pressure drag caused by the induced flow associated with the vortices created by the tips of finite one yeah zero lift drag the parasite drag at its zero lift angle of attack is what zero lift drag is drag due to lift is like parasite drag at its zero lift angle of attack less the induced okay so yeah coming to drag polar what is drag polar the equation and the graph expressing relation between cd and cl are called the drag polar drag polar reflects the aerodynamic information necessary for the performance analysis of an aircraft so total drag is the addition of parasite drag if the aircraft is like flying in supersonic hypersonic then we include wave drag also yeah then we add induced drag like if it uh, definitely the aircraft is uh, like the aircraft has finite wings so when it is moving in air definitely there will be an induced drag unless winglets are introduced okay in terms of coefficient we can write total drag to be like cd equal to cde which is parasite drag plus uh, cdw which is wave drag plus kcl square which is induced drag where k is like 1 by pi ear uh, small d maybe sorry for this pi ear ar is alec aspect ratio of the wing so for the subsonic case uh, CD will be CD naught plus KCL square. Okay, for air foil, uh, it would be like CD equal to CD naught, which is also a nonlinear. You don't seem like KCL square is not there for the air foil, but yeah, but we still see that uh, in the graph uh, that is like nonlinear curve. That means the CD naught is a nonlinear term. Like, let's see how it is nonlinear. Coming to the derivation here, like total drag is parasite drag, wave drag, and induced drag, like summation of those all. Uh, yeah, parasite drag you separately see, like CD is CDE naught at zero lift angle plus a term associated like KCL square, which makes a non linear term. That is why we see in the graph CL versus CD a non linear curve also if we were to include wave drag also then it would have kcl square term in it induced drag is cd is equal to k3 it is like separately KL, uh, kcl square now uh, adding up to a total drag it would be cd equal to summation of the drags plus and taking cl common and this become k so yeah the, uh, we get cd equal to cd not plus kcl score thank you